Two years older than me. Yep. So you classified as a cougar? I guess so. Hottest one around. special day for many reasons. Number one being it's Kat's birthday. The next thing that's great about this day, Kat is going to help us up here at site two sort some pigs for tonight's loads. We got two loads going out at 12 o'clock tonight. And so she's coming up with us. She's going to help us out to start her birthday off right. Are you excited to start your birthday morning off right with some, some sorting of some pigs? and help feed the world. You're gonna start off your birthday with doing a task for the rest of the world. Feed in the I planet. I can't wait. Is this, wait. would you rather be doing anything else? Um, buying a horse. Buying a horse? Uh -huh. Well, here's the thing about that. You though. should know that by now. Last night I spent about three hours while I was food prepping for the week, watching a live horse auction um, in Texas. Well, there were some in our price range already. Well, oh. all I'll say is we got to lay the groundwork. This pays the bills. Doing the pig work pays the bills. And if we, if you help us enough time sorting, maybe we can get you that horse. And we'll, as long we'll, as it happens, because I'm not doing this for nothing. That's right. It'll happen. <laughs> How old are you? 14. 14, huh? No, I'm 24. Actually, uh, someone, I went to the bar when I was, it was either when I was 22 or 23, and uh, they ID'd me. And they said they felt guilty. I looked 14 years old. They felt guilty even serving me because I look so young. So maybe I look 14, but I'm actually 24. Two years older than me. Yep. So you classified as a cougar? I guess so. Hottest one around. <laughs> so what are our plans for today after we get this done? What do you, what do you want to do? Well, I hate going out to eat. I hate going out to eat. I think I've been asked to go out to eat by my family plenty or several times and I just refuse. So I'm gonna enjoy the weather. It's supposed to be really nice out and we're gonna go get me some new Lipton shoes. Go to the mall, get some shopping done. Yep, go get some sushi maybe. Maybe shoot some birds with a 22. Yeah, go sushi. We're gonna, I, I am excited for that. <laughs> your first experience sword pigs? It's quite the experience. Never done it before? Nope. Will you do it again? Yeah, I'll do it again. Can't imagine if these pins were full though. First cuts is a lot harder. Yeah, I can see that. We're down to the down to the end so it's pretty easy. Screw that. Did a pretty good job though. Thanks. What what are my improvements? Uh, just gotta get better at using your panel. That's how everybody is when I they think start. you do too. I think you use your foot a little too much. My foot? <laughs> How'd Kat do for her first I thought she did a lot. She did wonderful and her demeanor is way better than yours. So I, I think I might just have her start helping me. Oh, that's fine. Or wait, me. why don't you just have her start helping you? And then 
I'll just say, hey, looks good from here. I don't know. I'm pretty emotional. I don't think I can take all the heat from Sawyer. I think that's love for you. Tell me about it. I'm <laughs> scarred and I'm 50 years old. <laughs> What's going on everybody it is friday afternoon pigs are all chored and they're looking good they're healthy most of the stuff that we've had to do for the week is already done so today was kind of smooth sailing which i'll take that um this afternoon we're going to do something a little bit different off the farm i'm going to head into town and go to one of the properties that we're doing a lot of rehab work on that we're hopefully going to turn into an Airbnb. My brother and Corey have a job for me and they need my help. So anytime they call and I'm not completely busy on the farm, I try to try to make my way over there. So that's what we're going to do this afternoon. I'm going to take you along for the ride. I don't really show this side of what's going on in my life all too much, but I figured, you know, I got nothing else going on. Here she is, folks. Call her Big Blue here. Old Blue, call her Old Blue, Big Blue, whatever you want to call her. This is the property that we're hoping to turn into a masterpiece. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Am I in the vlog? Yeah, you are on the vlog. I made it in? Yeah. Wow. We want to, I want to get, get, make us walk through this whole thing. Show okay. Us what's up. My name is Corey. I am Clay's boyfriend, Sawyer's brother and also the head maintenance i guess is that yeah, what i am you do, you're kind of jack of all trades I, I do it all kind of yeah he is the man the man of many talents that's right i keep this operation he together. keeps it going that's right but yeah this is uh our airbnb our new one um ola babcock's mansion um so ola babcock was the first female secretary of state in the state of iowa and we're happy to have it here in town and turning it into an Airbnb to host hopefully 14 or more people. When did we get this property and how long have you guys been working on it? Uh, when did we get it? Six, Six months, months ago, ago probably, yeah. yeah. And we've been working on it basically since then. So this is the kitchen. We kind of started on the main level of this house and today we're going to be doing some work upstairs, but this was the first room we kind of finished and it turned out pretty good. It was a mess beforehand. We had a giant counter in the middle of the room. Um, the plaster was in horrible condition, so we put shiplap up, uh, redid the crown molding, the electrician put some new lights in, and um, yeah, next is the floor in this room, but we're gonna do the whole house uh, at once for that. This is the dining room, so this was a total mess when we first got here. We put up all the um, chair rail molding. We cleaned up the wood. Um, the buffet was a disaster. Had This whole house had a lot of water damage. The uh, previous owners put a new roof on it for us, but before that it was just leaking water. So tons of water damage. Original wood floors in bad condition, but it's gonna get fixed um, totally. So this room was kind of the second room we um, started working on. We are almost done. We're actually gonna put wallpaper on the top half of this room, and then we're pretty much done with it. Uh, we put a new chandelier in. I worked on the buffet for hours, and it turned out pretty nice. So this is the parlor, or as Torque calls it, the cigar and old-fashioned room. Um, it's pretty exciting. We love this room. I can't wait to actually like sit down here and actually drink an old-fashioned, but um it's really coming along so that was kind of the tour of the main floor um that's where most of the work is being done at the goal of coming in here was really to focus on the main floor it's got most of the cool parts of the house are down here um there's also some stuff we didn't show you that we haven't even started on but for the most part this is where most of the time has been spent and you know the reality of construction or deconstruction whatever you want to call it doing a rehab you got to wait on stuff to come in and you got to wait on people to come help you out because you don't know everything like electrical work or carpenters or someone that is an expert of doing real wood floors you know you got to wait on those people and you got to wait on materials so you kind of just do what you can at the moment if the world was perfect we had everything available and everyone available to come help us we'd love to get this main floor just finished but that's not reality so you just kind of do what you can when you can do it and yeah so we're gonna head upstairs and do what we can at the moment so Corey's gonna put me to work well corn's all up today I should take you out and show you that but that's pretty damn good where I used to work we had a guy 
we never knew what he what he really did. He what he really did. He just disappeared. And he'd show up at the office once in a while, and we called him Special Projects. And if I had a guy named Special Projects, this would be the project. So any of you out there that want to get started and got a minimal budget, I will make you one hell of a deal on my Massey Harris number 26 or 36. I can't remember. My dad and my uncle bought this together back in the 40s when uh, my dad came home and started farming. And uh, they owned it on, ha on halvesies. And when they split up, uh, neither one would buy the other one out because they couldn't agree on a price. So... I think that's the reason why it just sat here all these years. Anyway, open canopy, fresh air. It's got an inline Chrysler industrial gas engine in it. Low hours. I'll even throw in some extra sickle sections. Never mind that guard that's bent there. That's no big deal. You don't need that anyway. Could be, you know, free hornet's nest in it. Anyway, we're going to drag it out. So this is the special project for today. We'll see whether we can get it out of here without uh, pulling the frame in half. Well, there you have it. I don't exactly know where uh, that's gonna go, but I do know it's not gonna stay here. It's like closing time, you know? Remember, I'm dating myself. It's like semi-sonic, closing time. I don't know where you're gonna go, but you can't stay here. I think that's how it went. So basically what we're doing is taking off this bottom layer of lath and plaster for the electrician so they can kind of run their wire down below. The baseboard goes up to about there so very tall baseboards we're reusing the original um, and we're trying we are going to reuse the plaster walls we're, it's not a complete remodel we're just making it safe for guests so what we're doing is cutting it right about there and then we'll take the first layer of plaster off and then once you get the plaster off eventually you can take the lath um, boards off um, also and pretty easy it should go pretty quick Alrighty folks, so we got all four bedrooms done today. The electrician will just run wire all the way around and we will put baseboards eventually up against the places that we took the plaster off and the boards off. But first the electrician has got to run wire through there so that we can get some power up here. Also got this pink room done as well. So I'm pretty good at using a crowbar. I can do that. I know I can do that. And if you have the right tool to get the plaster off or at least get a nice old line in the plaster, that makes things a lot easier. So I'm sure I'll be back here sometime when Corey and Clay needs me, but I thought I'd just take you guys along and show you the kind of the progress and show you a little bit of my life off the farm because I got other stuff that's going on. It's not all pigs all the time. And I like it that way. Sometimes I need a break from those little bastards. But anyway, I'm sure you guys will see this place again. And I'll probably take you through it once it's all finished. Corey, how was your first day being on a vlog? It was awesome. Love it. He'll probably be back on as well. Hopefully not soaring pigs. Hopefully not soaring pigs. You can just keep making this house look amazing. There we go.